Now we on speed one now. So we push it some more with some water. 30 pound thrust. This is two. A little faster. Brand new trolling motor. I don't know why it hung. Second time taking it out. This three. Out here in Buffalo, New York, small boat harbor. This speed four. We got one more speed. Shit. This motherfucker damn near did a willy. <laughs> this is speed five. Let's see, we're definitely making a weight. It's definitely pushing some water. Back to four, three, two, one, and that's all. I'm gonna paddle over here to this brake wall. That way I ain't gotta drain my battery. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thing um, moves pretty decently. There's downtown Buffalo right there. My homeboy will be up here shortly. He actually launched already, but he's got to come around this brake wall to get in to this part of the body of the water. I launched over here. But, yep, this is my 10 foot sit inside. Uh, pay at. Lifetime kayak. Trolling motor mount. This is a canoe mount. All I did was took out my fishing rod holders. And um, I got another Scotty mount that came with the kayak that sits there. I don't know what I did with it. But I took out my fishing rod holders. And I got two blocks. Probably about four four inches wide and I put a screw right in the middle and I dug my hand into the back where the fishing rods would go and I put the screw up in the hole so I can pull out the two by four I centered it and I put three screws in the two by four so it's basically screwed up into the deck of the kayak and then I just put some See if I can turn around. I ain't trying to flip over. Put this up. See, because I'm not spinning all the way around. But, uh, I got a piece of plastic. It's about three eighths inch. I put over the top of that, so it's like a spacer to make it flat on both sides. And I screw that into the two by four. And then um. Just drilled a hole right in the center. And this kayak motor, uh, not kayak, canoe, mount, come with his own boats and stuff. The whole nut and bolt set up, all that came with this mount. And I just ran it. <coughs> Excuse me. Ran it from the bottom up. I made it small enough that if you push it in, it won't fall out. But it'd take enough tension that it'd stay in there and then just screwed it on with the little cap that it came with. So it is removable. And yeah, it's um I thought it was gonna be side heavy, but it's very, very, very lightly side heavy. <laughs>